Welcome to Skeg Vegas Wrestling, episode 17. I'm your host, your commentator, your ring announcer. If you are watching the show, please drop a like, please subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell, select all, it will let you know whenever I go live. If you're watching the show, please type SVW in the live chat after every match. That's how I know who's watching and who isn't. Let's get the show to 18 likes to start off. I would greatly appreciate it if you could share this show about with your friends, with your family, to your social medias, to your followers. Let's try and get as many views as possible. Please let me know if the mic quality and video quality is good. I'm on commentary alone today. I will check the live chat the best I can. If I do miss anything important, please let me know. This is the final show before our free-to-watch monthly pay-per-view. Skeg Vegas Wrestling War of the Roses 4 live streaming Saturday at 6pm UK time on the Skeg Vegas Wrestling YouTube channel. Our free to watch pay-per-views are usually on a Sunday, but AEW All In is on at the same time our shows would have been. So we switched to Saturday for this month, so Saturday 6pm UK time for our free to watch monthly pay-per-view. I'm going to check the live chat for the first time now. Welcome Michael Mayer, Matthews, welcome Jackson Air, welcome Xavier, welcome Samuel McTavish, welcome Alexis Nova, welcome Duncan Riley, welcome Elvis Sabino, welcome Rene Marie, great seeing you watching, welcome Reynard, welcome Monta Storm, welcome Philip Adams, welcome King Phoenix, welcome Spike Ryan, welcome Marissa Money. Welcome Emmeline, Emmelina, welcome Freddie Fox. Welcome Ice Cold. Let's get the show to 21 likes to start off. I would greatly appreciate it if you could share this show about with your friends, with your family, to your social medias, to your followers. Let's try and get as many views as possible. Let's try and hit 30 live views for this show. Please let me know if the mic quality and video quality is good. We will get into the show on the hour in two minutes time. We are going to kick off with a six-woman tag team match. It is going to be Alexis Nova, Barbie and Marissa Money versus Angel Quinn, Andrea Charlotte and Monroe. No entrances for this one. They are all waiting in the ring for this match and for this show to start. I want to see all six of these women in the live chat, I want to see which team you want to win in the live chat. Welcome Ben Lee. Welcome Adrian Lachey, the Queen of Vegas champion. Got eyes on this match because Alexis Nova, Barbie and Marissa Money are scheduled to face Adrian Lachey Saturday in a triple threat elimination match. In a fatal four-way elimination match for the Queen of Vegas championship. But they were putting that on the line against... Three women that they have defeated this month in Angel Quinn, Andrea Charlotte and Monroe. So Angel Quinn, Andrea Charlotte and Monroe have got the chance to get the biggest revenge possible and replace them in that match if they can win this match. It is one fall to a finish for this one. Welcome Nerd, welcome Matthew, welcome Kyle Graves, welcome VIP. Let's get into this show. If the show ever does crash, I will be straight back live, so please make sure to come back, watch, drop a like. No entrances for this one. We're going to get straight into it. The women are in the ring waiting. I want to see all six of these women in the live chat. I want to see which team you want to win in the live chat. Let's just go through the records real quick before we get into this. Bobby. To the left, she is 4 and 5 at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Alexis Nova next to her, she's 5 and 3. Marissa Money next to her is 2 and 3. They're going against Andrea Charlotte, who is 0 and 2. They're going against Angel Quinn, who is 0 and 1. And they are going against Monroe, who is 0 and 3. The winners of this match... We'll be in a fatal four-way elimination match Saturday at War of the Roses 4, competing for the Queen of Vegas Championship against the Queen of Vegas Champion, Adrian Lachey. 
So a lot on the line in this match. A lot of implications going into Wolf the Roses on Saturday. Let's get into this match. It's going to be Alexis Nova and Angel Quinn to start this match off and off we go. Springboard! Drop kick by Angel Quinn to start off right into the pin. Not even a one. I wish the money was going to get in and break it up anyway. And back to the springboard again. That counter by Alexis Nova. Angel Quinn on fire in this match. Alexis Nova looking to fire with a springboard. Poison Rona, what a start to this match. And Alexis Nova feeling confident. Angel Quinn comes running in. And it's the DDT. Stomp. Going after the head now. Wrenching at the face. Slams her down to the mat. What does Angel Quinn have in mind? Tags in Andrea Charlotte. Andrea Charlotte looking for the springboard moonsault. Seen a lot of springboards early on in this match. Did it too. Alexis Nova needs a tag desperately. Pulls her to her feet. Went to drag her, but Nova countered with the back elbows. Alexis Nova with the DDT of her own. Grabbed. Sent into the corner. Tag made. Bobby's tagged in. Tag team maneuver coming up by Alexis Nova and Bobby. Looking for the Fireman's Carry Rocket Kick combination. And Andrea Charlotte rolling onto the apron. And Bobby takes her off the apron, and I think Alexis Nova was going to do that anyway. Sends her back into the ring. Drop kick by Bobby. Jumping clothesline. And Bobby allowing Andrew Charlotte to make the tag. And he's torn in his Bobby. Angel Quinn's in and grabs her from behind. Forearm to the back. Bobby got too confident. Grabs her from behind again. And slams her back first into the mat. Double knee face breaker. And Angel Quinn fired up now. And Bobby tagging in Marissa Money. Kick to the gut. Marissa Money looking to fly with a springboard DDT. This is your opening match. Rocket kick by Angel Quinn. Punch. Grabs her from behind. Just scraping away at her face. Just clawing away is Angel Quinn and looking for the springboard into Gary. Where's the money into the pin? Is that enough? One. Two. Kick out at two and a half by Angel Quinn. Elbow by Marissa Money. But Angel Quinn back to her feet already. Marissa Money with a cause line. Stiff cause line that was. Sent into the corner. Marissa Money running in with a knee. Slams her down. Stomp. Into the corkscrew sent on. Marissa Money dominating as of right now. Stomping away at the back. Boot to the face. Got the arm trapped behind the back. Got the other arm now. Pulling at the wrist, the fingers, the palm of the hand. Double knees to the back. Marissa Money to the top rope. Angel Quinn has got to her feet and comes running in and Marissa Money jumps off the top. But he gets caught. I reckon Rona onto the middle rope, into the rope. Tiger thing kick by Angel Quinn. He needs to go for the pin. Instead, she's going after Alexis Nova. Alexis Nova must have said something to her. It's Bobby with a DDT. Kick to the gut by Alexis Nova. Oh, some kind of urinogi. 
Is Marissa Money Watchers on? Oh, and drops on the back of her head. Alexis Nova doing a number on Angel Quinn. Looking for the pedigree on the outside. I'll be careful not to get counted out here. And now Marissa Money's going to the outside to break the count. Don't want to win that way. But Angel Quinn is getting absolutely dominated on the outside by these three women. Went for the kick to the gut, did Angel Quinn. Marissa Money grabs her. Sends her in to the apron. I thought she was going to send her into the ring, but into the apron instead. Grabs her again. And Angel Quinn fights three now. Count at five. The fight on the outside continues. Angel Quinn is back in the ring. Angel Quinn going after Alexis Nova with a punch. And Bobby with a punch. And going after Alexis Nova again. And Marissa Money's just watching this. I mean, if their team wins, these three will be opponents come Saturday. So why not watch Alexis Nova get beat up with a kick? Oh, the rocket kick. Angel Quinn's on fire here in this match. Double knee face breaker. The Angel Quinn's exhausted after everything she has done in this match. Maybe needs a tag. And Marissa Money's going for the tag as well. And Bobby is tagged in. And Andrea Shaw is tagged in as well. Andrea Shaw with a big pump kick. Sends her into the rope. Oh, back on slam Andrew Shaw into the pin. One. Kick out one by Bobby. Mum Rose, the only person not to be in this match yet, I think. Sliced bread by Andrew Shaw. Kick to the back. And just as I was saying that, Mum Rose is tagged in. Oh, European uppercut by Monroe into the pin. One. Kick out at just about one, edging two by Bobby. Got the arm. Monkey flip. Forearm. It's an odd hitting match. And Bobby crawling towards her corner. Can she make the tag? She's going to make the tag. She is. And Marissa Money's in. Went for the running forearm. Did Andrea Charlotte. Got caught. Forearm to the back of the head of Andrea Charlotte. Marissa Money pulls her to her feet. Sends her into the corner. Tag made. Tag team manoeuvre coming up. Sent into the ropes. Double back body drop. kick by Alexis Nova into the pin that's it one and Monroe breaks it up instantly and there is some money and Monroe going at it now kick to the gut by Alexis Nova fast strikes by Andrew Charlotte stumped to the foot into the knee into the pin is that it one Bobby breaks it up now this is a little bit of a preview for the War of the Roses match we'll see Saturday at War of the Roses 4 we are coming live from the Embassy Theatre in Skegness for this show. Sent into the corner. The team to the left all working better as a team than the other team in my opinion. They are making tags. Rainmaker DDT by Andrea Charlotte. But just as I was saying that, Monroe is tagged in. Grabs her, kick to the gut by Nova. Fast strikes by Alexis Nova. Snap me. Went for the drop kick, Monroe rolled out of the way. Inverted atomic drop into the rope, into the big bear, into the senton. Into the pin. Marissa Money breaks it up. This match could go on all night. With how many breaks, breakups are happening. 
Alexis Nova sends her into the corner. Takes Andrea Charlotte off the apron by taunting her. Takes her off the apron now. Alexis Nova with a cartwheel but landed head first but got a little bit of Monroe into the lariat. Pulls her to her feet. Counter by Alexis Nova, shot to the back. Back elbow by Monroe. Went for the super kick, it was caught by Alexis Nova. It's the inverted atomic drop. And the net breaker. And now to the corner goes Alexis Nova to try and end this match. To make it to War of the Roses 4 on Saturday. Super kick. But Angel Quinn breaks it up. Sends her into the corner. Takes out Andrew Charlotte. Angel Quinn's in. Alexis Nova went to grab her and missed. Was looking for a Canadian destroy Angel Quinn. Into the pin. One. Kick out. Monroe still out of it in the corner. Alexis Nova sends her into the corner. Comes running in. With the back elbow splash or some sort. And the cannonball. Pulls her to her feet. Kick to the gut. Into the rope. Netbreaker! And she's not done. To the corner goes Alexis Nova. Looking for Bloody Valentine. Could pin her ear. But instead tags in Marissa Money. Oh, spin kick. They are having a field day with Angel Quinn. This tag team. Off Nelson. Full Nelson. Face buster. That is it. Takes out Monroe. Went to take out Andrea Charlotte, but Andrea Charlotte saw it coming. Marissa Money with a suicide dive onto Andrea Charlotte. But while she was doing that, Angel Quinn got to her feet. Marissa Money was trying to grab her. She just took out a ref, Angel Quinn. She took out a ref. Now she's taking out Marissa Money. This is chaos. And Bobby's going to take advantage with a double knees to the back. Sends her into the corner. He's trying to make a tag. Angel Quinn fought free. Bobby with a splash that we saw Alexis Nova do earlier. And the Bronco Buster. And Angel Quinn was trying to make a tag. Bobby put a stop to that. And Bobby. We've seen a win matches with this move. A front flip DDT. Takes out Monroe. Takes out Andrea Charlotte. Should go for the pin. Instead tags in Marissa Money. And Marissa Money into the pin. One. Two. Three. They are going to War of the Roses 4 on Saturday and they will face Adrian Lachey in a fatal four-way elimination match for the Queen of Vegas Championship. They put it on the line in that match but they managed to get the win. As you go to the replays. Please let me know if the mic quality and video quality is good. And the winners of this match by pinfall, the team of Marissa Money, Alexis Nova, and Bobby. Could one of these three women be the next Queen of Vegas champion, says Michael Mayer Matthews. Welcome Kyla Santos. 
Let's get the show to 27 likes. I would greatly appreciate it if you could share the show about with your friends, with your family, to your social medias, to your followers. Let's get into the next match. I believe we have King of Vegas Division action. I believe it is going to be the superior being Xavier versus the debut Spike Ryan. I want to see both of these men in the live chat. I want to see who you want to win in the live chat. My YouTube is acting up a bit today. I'm trying to get it to work. Xavier is ill. Welcome, Sadie K. Spike Ryan is here too, that is good to see. We're missing a lot of likes, people. If you haven't already, please do drop a like. Let's get the show to 25 likes. Please let me know if the mic quality and video quality is good. Let's get into this match. The following is a one-on-one -on -one match in the King of Vegas division. Making his way to the ring first, the superior Bing, Xavier. Xavier has got a record of 10 wins and 6 losses at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. He is part of Team King of Vegas. For the War of the Roses 4 match. But he's putting that on the line here. Against the debuting Spike Ryan. So Spike Ryan could debut here. Win and be at War of the Roses 4 on Saturday. Big opportunity for him. Is the mic quality and video quality good? Somebody please let me know. Because I don't think I've seen anyone say anything about it. Xavier obviously feeling confident. Welcome as well. And his opponent. Making his Skeg Vegas Wrestling debut. Spike. Ryan! Let's see what this man can do in his debut. Not a lot known about this man. Let's see what he can do against Xavier. Is the mic quality and video quality good? I've asked a few times yet. Uh, a few times now and I haven't seen any replies in the live chat. Just please let me know if it's all good. Everything is good. Thank you, Sam. Everything sounds good. Thank you. Let's get this show shared about. Let's try and get some more views. Let's try and hit 30 live views for this show. It is the final show before War of the Roses 4 on Saturday. You don't want to miss that. Every championship will be on the line and so much more. And implications... For that in this match because Xavier is putting his spot on Team King of Vegas on the line against the debuting Spike Ryan. This is going to be a tough task for Spike Ryan in his debut. The bell rings and off we go. And Xavier right to the power game. In the power position and dropped down with a falling power bomb. Pulls him up to his feet. It looked like Spike Ryan was trying to get to his feet, but Xavier helping him to his feet into the power bomb position again. 
Zevian, a very experienced wrestler, and drops him head first into the turnbuckle. Zevian takes a step back and came running in, but kicked off by Spike Ryan. Shoved off by Zevian, too strong, into the fireman's carry. In right in front of the camera and dropping him head first into the knee, lifts him back up. Spike Ryan fighting free and it's the chop box, sending Zevian down. Grabs him from behind, backbreaker and slams him into the mat. Punch to the gut. Into the power slam position goes Zavian. Looks right at the camera and slams him into the mat. Pulls him back to his feet. Spike Ryan counters again into the reverse DDT. Zavian grabs him. And slams him into the mat again. Twice is it that manoeuvre now on Spike Ryan. And three times is the charm. Xavier is dominating the debutant. And drop down. This might be a quick one if it carries on like this. Don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. He might break his neck. Oh, thankfully he dropped him. On his front rather than his neck. Kick to the gut by Spike Ryan. Spike Ryan looking for the submission. The cross face. It is locked in deep. Xavier fights free. Kick to the gut. Xavier with the submission now. He's got the leg. It is locked in. Is Spike Ryan going to tap out on his debut? This quickly into his debut. Xavier wrenching, pulling back. It's Spike Ryan escaping with the punches. The damage to the leg has been done though. Went for the running forearm did Spike Ryan. Sling blade rolls into the basement drop kick. Went for the mark of punches. Zavian turns it around and hits the forearms. Pulls him to his feet. Grabs him. Kick to the gut. Looking for that manoeuvre again, looking to drop him on his face again. Push him right back up. Oh my word. Goran's German suplex by Xavier. The strength of Xavier, the power of Xavier on show in this match. Calls himself the God of Vegas. And when he does stuff like that, you can see why. The Umprio into the pin. One, two. Kick out by Spike Ryan, but only just. And Spike Ryan rolls to the outside. And Xavier holds the ring. Don't do this. Don't do this. Xavier with a rope step. Tope con hilo. This man's got power. He's got athleticism. But a nip up by Spike Ryan. Sends him into the ring. On the apron. Back in the ring is Spike Ryan. Punch. Second punch. Another punch. Rocking Xavier with his punches. Slim blade. Into the pin. Not even a one. Xavier is a tough man to keep down. And Spike Ryan's going to find it out in this match. Sent into the corner. Close line. Goes into the other corner. Another close line. Punch. Grabs him by the head. Forearm. Spike Ryan to the top row, looking to fly. Done on foot storm, that might be it. Huge upset here, one, two. Kick out at the last dying breath by Xavier. Spike Ryan pulls him to his feet. Sends him into the corner. What is he looking for? The Shotgun drop kick into the turnbuckle. Zavian into the pin. One. Two. Kick out. Zavian waiting for Spike Ryan to get up. Knee into the clothesline. 
Spike Ryan back to his feet somehow, but right into the midst of Xavier, who is looking for another somersault. Unprettier. Deadlift, power bomb. Into the knee. But Spike Ryan keeps getting back up, showing he's got all. Spinning brain buster by Xavier. But Spike Ryan still getting back to his feet. Kick to the gut. Some kind of Northern Light suplex. Spike Ryan was trying to roll out of the ring. Xavier wouldn't let that happen. And continues the offense. Oh my word, that was brutal. How is Spike Ryan getting up? You can see the red marks on Spike Ryan's back. And you've got to think the end is near for Spike Ryan in this match. Xavier's just going crazy. And Spike Ryan trying to get out of arm's way on the apron. Xavier just waiting to pounce, shimmying, forearm, into the spiking DDT on the apron by the superior being. Sends him, but Spike Ryan stopped himself from going into the ring, he's in the ring now. Xavier into the Mike Death punches, the forearms. And Xavier looking to end this match. Knee to the skull. Into the fireman's carry. Into the TKO. Cookie Cola. One, two. What? Spike Ryan kicked out. Spike Ryan kicked out. And he nipped up. And he nipped up. Snap me. Drop kick. There's all for Spike Ryan in this match yet. Yeah, stomp. Uh-oh. Huge insect Gary by Xavier. Pulls into his feet. Into the fireman's carry. Looking for the fallen angel. And that's it. Into the pin. It was a rope break, but Xavier didn't care about that. He lifted his head off the mat. And maybe thinking to it another. But Spike Ryan saw it coming. Mistake made by Xavier not pulling him into the center of the ring. Just leaving him where he was. Went for the forearm again. Sent off into the ropes. Double foot stomp by Spike Ryan into the pin. One. Kick out one by Xavier this late in the match. Double foot stomp to the arm. This man seems to be a double foot stomp specialist to me. Stomp to the arm. Kicked in the face by Xavier. And Xavier looking to end this match one more time. Grabs him, fireman's carry, and drops him down with the fallen angel. One, two, three. Good showing by Spike Ryan in his debut, but Xavier picks up the win. Welcome Adrian Williams. Let's get the show to 30 likes. Welcome Jackson Bates and the winner of this match by Pinfall, the superior being Xavier. And Xavier will be at War of the Roses 4 on Saturday, and he will be on Team King of Vegas. Welcome Red, welcome Cameron Miller, welcome Orphan Majors. Let's get into the next match. Wingman division action. It is going to be Valhalla, Westmead and Unterstorm versus Uncensored Chaos, Jason Wade 
And Tyson Adams, Tyson Adams to the left, Jason Wade to the right. Let's get into this match. I want to see both of these teams in the live chat. I want to see who you want to win in the live chat. Yes, I'm not going to be at War of the Roses at all then, says Spike Ryan. I mean, you could be in the fans, Spike Ryan. I could offer you some VIP seats right now. Let's get into this match. Well, how are his, here is Tyson and Jason in the live chat. Failure versus failure, says Duncan Riley. Duncan Riley beat both of these men already. The full win is a tag team match. In the wingman division. Making their way to the ring first. The team of Hunter Storm. West Speed. Vahala. There you go. That's an offer right there. Spike Ryan. Sit with me. We can be bitter together. Says Rene Marie. You got yourself a date, Spike Ryan. Well, let's get this show shared about with our friends, with our families, to the social medias, to the followers. Let's try and get as many views as possible. I believe this tag team is 0 and 1 at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Let me just double check that. Yeah, 0 and 1 made their debut against Eden and a good showing in that match, but Eden managed to defeat him. The Winman Champions. Fox Winters pinning West Spade. And their opponents. The team of Tyson Adams. Jason Wade. Uncensored Chaos. Uncensored Chaos are 4 and 2 as a team at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Jason Wade is. 9, 2, and 3. Tyson Adams is 19, 1, and 8. They're looking to get back on track. Their last match was against Eden. Like Valhalla's last match was against Eden. And both of these tag teams lost against Eden. I wonder if Uncensored Chaos has changed their clothes since that night. Because they're all wearing the same attires that they wore when they lost to Eden. You know, you can have VIP tickets whenever you want, Jackson. Well, let's focus on this match. Wingman division action on Censored Chaos looking to get back on track in the Wingman division. It is going to be West Speed versus Jason Wade to start off the bell rings. And off we go. West Speed looking for a big power maneuver. And he explored a suplex of some sort. Went to grab him. Jason rolling out of the way. Sent into the corner. Countered and Westby went head first. Uppercut. Back elbow. Kick. Went for another one. It was ducked. Over and belly to belly by West Speed. Or a belly to belly. One of the two. And taunting Jason. Jason with a back elbow. The kick. Uppercut, punch, kick. West Spade still standing. Jason Wade still throwing hands out of it in the corner. Is West Spade back elbow ends a carry combination by Jason Wade. Double foot stump to the backs. Two double foot stumps to the back. Kamagoi caught by West Spade. Grabs him. Punch to the face. Grabs him by the arm. Slams it into the mat. Uncensored Chaos will want to send a message here. They will want to defeat Valhalla quicker than Eden did. Sent into the corner. Tag team maneuver coming up by Uncensored Chaos. Jason Wade. Baits him in. Teasing him. Got the legs. Tyson Adams jumps over him and slams him. In the back. Hunter Storm. 0-1 since returning to Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Sent into the ropes. They bumped into each other. Oilfedge pressed by Hunter Storm into the mounted strikes. 
into the pin. Not even a one. Grabs him. Drags him, but Tyson with the back elbows manages to escape. Kick. Second kick. Third kick. And a spin kick by Tyson Adams. And Hunter Storm tags in West Speed. Comes flying in with a lariat. Oh, a power move has been shown by West Speed with a falcon arrow. But Tyson just keeps getting right back up. Into the military press. Could have strength and drops him down. Stomp to the back. Tyson was looking for Jason. Tyson rolls to the outside. West Speed turning to get to his feet. We saw us against Eden. West Speed with a top in Cornejo. We saw him do that against Eden. In their debut. Kicked off by Tyson Adams. Tyson Adams with a pele kick on the outside. Spin kick by Tyson. With Spear back in the ring, Tyson Adams comes flying in with a kick. Went for the forearm or the Superman punch. But West Spear countered and is looking for the chop slam. You're a nuggy into the pin. You jump set. Jason's just watching this happen. Kick out at two by Tyson Adams. Why didn't Jason get involved? Why didn't he help his tag team partner? Pulls Tyson to his feet. Tyson counters with a knee. Tyson with the end of days. Into the pin. And on a storm breaks it up. Four on by Tyson. Did it to you by Tyson. Pulls into his feet. Sends into the corner. Tag team maneuver coming up by Uncensored Chaos. Double back body drop. Jason pulls into his feet. Back recur sidewalk slam by Jason Wade to Westmade into the pin. That is it. One. And on a stone breaks it up. Tyson going off the run, oh, uppercut by Jason Wade to West Spade. West Spade firing back now with a spine buster. And a shoulder tackle. Tyson dealing with Hunter Storm on the outside. West Spade sends him into the corner. It's the shoulder tackle or body splash of some sort. Hunter Storm fighting back against Tyson Adams now. This is Valhalla's chance to win this match. Both of these tag teams need a win. Both coming off a loss to Eden. Meteor by Jason Wade into the pin. Hunter Stone comes running in. One, two, kick out. Or did Hunter Stone break it up? I think Hunter Stone accidentally took out the ref. Seems to be coming around now. Went for the strike. Tyson strikes west. Jason grabs him from behind. Sends him into the corner. Tag team maneuver coming up by Uncensored Chaos. Looking for Chaotic Knockout. Hunter Stone was trying to stop Tyson but couldn't. Tyson went to take him off the apron. Hunter Stone countered. Tyson Adams with a rope step. Topi Conneuro back in the ring now. Into the pin. Could Hunter Stone get in time? One. The referee slow counting him because Hunter Stone took him out. Took out the ref. Tyson Adams with a punch. Into the Omega Driver. Takes out on a storm. Into the pin. One, two, three. An uncensored chaos win. They get a much needed win. You go to the replays.
and the winners of this match by pinfall the team of Tyson Adams, Jason Wade, Uncensored Chaos, and I believe they defeated Valhalla faster than Eden did. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's get into the next match, fourth match of the night. It is going to be Brody Reeves of the No Limits Division who will compete for the King of Vegas Championship Saturday against Cameron Miller versus Ivan Volko of the King of Vegas Division. I want to see both of these men in the live chat. I want to see you want to win in the live chat. Let's get the show to 32 likes. I see Ivan Volko in the live chat. He's Brody Reeves here. Let's get into this match. The following is a division versus division match. Making his way to the ring first, representing the No Limits division, the English General Brody. Reeves. Brody Reeves will face Cameron Miller for the King of Vegas Championship Saturday in Blackpool, England at the Winter Gardens. Skeg Vegas Wrestling War of the Roses 4 live stream Saturday, 6 pm UK time on the Skeg Vegas Wrestling YouTube channel. Brody Reeves has got a record of 13 wins and 12 losses since we started counting records. Looking to pick up his 14th win here against Ivan Volko. Country versus country. It's going to be England versus Russia or England versus the Soviet Union, as Ivan Volko likes to call it. Can Brody Reeves get some more momentum? Heading in towards the Roses 4. And his opponent, representing the King of Vegas division, Ivan Volko. Let's see what Ivan Volko can do here against Brody Reeves. Ivan Volko has a record of zero wins and two losses at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. What a huge win this would be for him if he can get it. And Brody Reeves face was burnt in a triple threat elimination Vegas rules match against Star Walker and Flynn Knight. No worries Jackson here, thank you for watching. This should be a good one. This could be a contender for match of the night between these two men. Fourth match of the night. Still got core main event and main event to go. The bell rings and off we go. Ivan Volko grabs him, drags him, puts him against the rope. And drops him against the top rope. Stomp to the arm. Kick to the gut. Throat slash and just drops him. Drops on him, I should say. And now going for the arm bar stretch. Ivan Volko dominating Brody Reeves early in this match. This is not what Brody wanted. Kick by Ivan Volko. 
into the arm bar stretch again. This is not how Brody Reeves envisioned this match going. Another kick by Ivan Volko, but Ivan Volko is a very good professional wrestler. And he's looking for the submission. He's got the call. It is locked in. He's Brody Reeves going to tap out. Brody fighting through with the punches, but Ivan's still got them huge hands wrapped around the skull. Brody Reeves into the submission now. Got the leg. Too early in this match, though. No damage has been done to the legs. But we've seen Ivan submit before to Cameron Miller in the ankle lock. And Ivan Volko fights free. Kick to the gut by Brody. Punch. Went for another one. Ivan throws back. Throws back with another one. Another. Ivan Volko throwing hands into the discus cause line. Into the cover. One. Kick out of one by Brody Reeves. You can see that scar on Brody Reeves' face. In his last match, he covered it up with makeup. But he's showing it proudly here tonight. Apparently, that happened after Crash and Burn 4. Apparently this man cut his own face. Punch. Another punch. Another punch. Another punch. But Ivan's still standing and just tosses him down. Pulls him to his feet. Into the spy monster. And that's going to be it for Brody Reeves. Dragging his lifeless body. Center of the ring. And Ivan Volko going to pull off a huge upset. One, two. Oh, Brody Reeves kicks out somehow. I have no idea how he did it. And somehow Brody Reeves is back to his feet. Brody Reeves throwing hands and it's the soul kick. Oh, what a kick by Brody. Who suddenly come alive in this match. Another kick by Brody Reeves. He's been woken up by that spine buster by Ivan. Drop kick to the leg. Driving the boot into the chin, into the neck, into the throat. Stumps to the lower region of the back. One to the face. Got the arm trapped behind the back. Going after the other arm now as well. Pulling at the fingers, the palm of the hand, the wrist. Double knees to the back by Brody Reeves. Kick to the back. And Brody Reeves doing a number on Ivan all of a sudden. Forearm. Looking for the spiking DDT on the apron. And Brody rolls back in. And a bow by the English general Brody Reeves. Ivan's back in now as well. Spear by Ivan Volko. Punch to the gut by Brody. Went for the running knee. Ivan blocked it. Ivan telling the fans to shush. Sends him into the corner. Ivan comes running in with the uppercut. Back suplex. Ivan pulls him to his feet. Into the dragon sleeper. It is locked in deep. Brody Reeves is going to have to tap out. Or he's going to pass out. He is really wrenching back. That is a brutal looking dragon sleeper. By Ivan Volko. But Brody Reeves escapes with a stunt to the back. Brody Reeves with a kick to the gut. Into the headlock. Driver into the pin. One, two, kick out at two by Ivan Volko. Brody Reeves into the punches. Kick by Brody Reeves, cocky kick. Not going to hurt his opponent, but it will make him angry. And more punches by Brody Reeves. Kick to the back. Brody's doing good work with a ground game. And Brody into the submission again. Got the arm. It is locked in. 
He's Ivan going to tap out. He doesn't seem to be in any. That is straight, so to speak. Knee by Ivan Volko into the pin. One. Two. Kick out at two by Brody Reason. This match rages on. Kick to the gut by Brody. I'm trapped. Butterfly suplex of some sort. Punch. Grabs him. Jags him. Puts him against the rope. Chop. Got the leg trapped in the ropes. There's Ivan Volko. Brody's in a bad way. You can see him hobbling. Brody fights free with the punches. He gets hit with some more strikes by Ivan Volko. Sent it into the rope. On trap dragon suplex. Ivan Volko with a rocket kick. Pulls Brody to his feet. Was looking for that spybuster reek to the eyes by Brody Reeves. Reek to the eyes by Brody. Puts him against the rope. Brody Reeves with a springboard. European uppercut. Into the corner goes Brody. Looking to end this match. Punk kick by Brody Reeves. But he's not done. Back to the corner again. Another punk kick. But I even saw it coming. And hit the spear. Mistake made by Brody Reeves. Spear again by Ivan. And Ivan looking to end this match. Brody cowers with a wake to the eyes. And slams him head first into the mat. Into the corner goes Brody Reeves. Punk kick. That's it. Into the pin. One. Two. Free and Brody Reeves wins. Good showing by Ivan Volko, but Brody Reeves has got all the momentum in the world going into Cameron Miller. Going into his King of Vegas Championship match. Going into War of the Roses 4 on Saturday. And the winner of this match by pinfall, the English General Brody Reeves. You can see Ivan knelt down on the outside. He's hurting, his pride's hurting. He's just gone 0 and 3 at Skate Vegas Wrestling. He's just been defeated by Brody Reeves. But another good showing by Ivan Volko. Let's get into the next match. It is core main event time. Welcome Chris Garcia. This, the war has only begun, Skeg, says Ivan Volko. It is going to be Samuel McTavish. This is the returning of former King of Vegas champion, albeit for one day, the psychopath, Matthew. It's going to be a division versus division match. Samuel McTavish will compete for the No Limits Championship Saturday at War of the Roses 4. I want to see both of these men in the live chat. I want to see who you want to win in the live chat. I've only just noticed you, Chris Garcia. And um, Matthew is here, Samuel McTavish is here, that is great to see, I would greatly appreciate it if you could share this show about with your friends, with your family, to your social medias, to your followers, let's try and hit 30 live viewers, call main event time, still got main event to go, the Lincolnshire Championship will be on the line, can Samuel McTavish get some more momentum going into Saturday, can he defeat a former King of Vegas champion, the full win, is your Skeg Vegas Wrestling core main event and is a division versus division match making his way to the ring first representing the No Limits 
the vision. Sami. I messed that up. Representing the king of Vegas division, Samuel McTavish. Samuel McTavish will compete for the No Limits Championship on Saturday at War of the Roses 4. That's where I got confused, thinking he was a No Limits Division competitor. But he is representing the King of Vegas Division, but he doesn't care about that. He just wants to walk out of Saturday as No Limits Champion. He's got a record of eight wins and three losses at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. He's only been pinned once at Skeg Vegas Wrestling, and that was by the former King of Vegas Champion, V-Kid. In his debut bout. Yes, only for one day, Freddie Fox. And then Michael Revenant, who was the King of Vegas champion before Matthew defeated him, got his lawyers involved and we had to give the championship back to him. It was a bit of a mess. And his opponent making his return to Skeg Vegas Wrestling, representing the No Limits division. Welcome, Jade. The Psychopath. Matthew! It is the first time we've seen Matthew here at Skeg Vegas Wrestling in I want to say about two years. Welcome Brandon Perez. It's been a very long time since we've seen the psychopath Matthew in Skeg Ness at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. This is his return match against Samuel McTavish. It was a different era back then, a different era of Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Will the psychopath Matthew be able to hang with this new era of talent? We're going to find out. Matthew taking his time, there's always an eerie atmosphere in the arena when the psychopath Matthew is here. Interesting individual. It's not just the moniker that name, the psychopath. Look at this guy. It's like he's come out of an insane asylum. He used to be in a tag team with BK Michaels called Sons of 80s. He's got to be ring rusty. I don't know if he's wrestled anywhere else in his time away from Skeg Vegas Wrestling. But in my opinion, he's going to be rusty. And what a huge opportunity for Samuel McTavish to defeat a former King of Vegas champion. That is quite the accomplishment. And especially before facing Michael Mayer Matthew sat there for the No Limits Championship. They see Matthew, they see Samuel McTavish. McTavish going to have the height and weight advantage. But Matthew is a tough guy, as you can see, rocking Samuel McTavish with a forearm. Oh, and just raking the eyes. I don't think McTavish knows what he's got in the ring with. But he's going to find out quickly as Matthew looks to break his arm. And Matthew just allowing him back to his feet. McTavish backing off. Was trying to leave the ring. Matthew wasn't allowing to. Sends him into the corner. Kick. Punch. Second punch. Third. Stomping away is Matthew. What a return for the psychopath. But Samuel McTavish fights through with a punch. Got him trapped up. Wrapped up. Forearm to the back of the head. Pulls Matthew back to his feet. Oh, what a chop. You can hear that. Pulls him back up again. 
for him. And Matthew back up and it's the running for him. Kick. Forearm, punch, head put by Matthew, stunned against the ropes is Samuel McTavish, sent into the rope, misses with a chop, McTavish gets it with a backbreaker, McTavish usually one to dominate, he'll be getting pissed off at what he's witnessed so far, the offence that Matthew has got in so far, oh went for the centre, McTavish Sorry, coming and hit the knee, but somehow Matthew's still standing. Big kick by McTavish. Falls into his feet. Spear by Samuel McTavish. Oh my word, Matthew just went flying. The strength of Samuel McTavish, the Reaper Maniac. The superstar. And just striking away. At a psychopath. Oh God, this is bad for Matthew. Oh my word. Samuel McTavish showing off his strength in this match. Big power move after big power move. What started really good for Matthew. Is going very badly now. As McTavish starts to dominate, as you would expect, as he so often does. You're a nuggy! Into the pin, that might be all she wrote. One. What? Kick out one by Matthew. For those who know Matthew, they know he's resilient. For those who don't know Matthew, they're going to find out how resilient he is. Matthew striking away, McTavish down. Rigs at the eyes again, does Matthew. And Matthew to the corner. What is he going for? Oh, what a dying headbutt! And he's not done. Pull Samuel McTavish to his feet. Looking for the shiny wizard to the back of the air. Huge upset. Huge upset. One, two. Samuel McTavish kicks out only just, but he has been busted open by the psychopath. Who's trying to get in his head? How is McTavish still standing? Drops him down again. And McTavish starts to stomp. Away at Matthew. To the face. Oh, boot to the face. Running neck twist by Samuel McTavish. Into the rope. Went for the knee. Matthew rolled out of the way. Went for the shining wizard again. McTavish rolled out of the way. Oh my word! Matthew nearly went flying out of the ring. Another year in Huggy. Into the rope. Knee, the athleticism of Samuel McTavish goes flying up to the top rope. Knee from McTavish. Samuel McTavish with the suplex. Cutter into the pin. One, two. Oh, Matthew kicked out. Matthew kicked out. Matthew roll into the outside. Samuel McTavish can fly. He's a big guy, but he's got athleticism as well. Samuel McTavish goes flying to the outside. Showing how good he is here is Samuel McTavish. Matthew just got up. Oh, but Samuel McTavish. It tosses him to the outside. Sends him back in. Tells him to get to his feet. What does Samuel McTavish have in mind? To the top rope. Oh, what a sledge. Went after the arm, needing the skull. 
I had a psychopath, Matthew. Forearm by Matthew, but McTavish still getting back to his feet. Punch, McTavish still standing. Matthew slams him back first into the mat. Pulls him up again. Grabs him. Drags him. Puts him against the rope. Fast punches by Matthew. Biting at the nose, biting at the face. Is Matthew. And Matthew looking for the springboard drop kick. What a great show in here by the psychopath into the pin. One, two, kick out at two by Samuel McTavish. Kick. Knee, second knee. Spin kick. McTavish still standing, getting right up in the face of Matthew and says, is that all you've got? Sends him into the rope. Bumps into each other. Grabs him. Drags him. Puts him against the rope. Punch. Looking for the springboard kick. Into the pin. One. Two. Kick out at two again by Samuel McTavish. Stomp. Stomp again. McTavish trying to roll out of arms way. Matthew's going to allow him to roll out of arms way. Matthew turning to get to his feet. Matthew with a run out looking to fly. And it's Samuel McTavish with the same manoeuvre that Samuel McTavish hit on Matthew. Matthew turning to suck it. Fired up in his return to Skeg Vegas Wrestling. But he got too cocky, he went for the head butt. And McTavish gets back in the ring. Matthew back in the ring now as well. Samuel McTavish caught him with the suplex cutter again. Into the pin. That is it. One, two. Kick out by the psychopath Matthew again. What is it going to take? For Samuel McTavish to win this match. Looking for the shiny wizard into the back of the head again. Into the pin. You jump set. One, two. Kick out of the last dying breath by Samuel McTavish. Pulls him to his feet. For the kick to the gut. Forearm by Samuel McTavish. Punch by Samuel McTavish. Lifts him up. Lifts him up. Sends him into the mat. Into the sliding lariat. We've seen Samuel win so many matches with that move. But to the corner now will Samuel McTavish. Looking to put a cherry on top of the icing. On top of the cake. That run in to Gary. One. Two. Three. And Samuel McTavish defeats a former King of Vegas champion. In the psychopath Matthew. And Samuel McTavish has momentum going into Michael May and Matthews and the No Limits Championship on Saturday. And the winner of this match by Pinfall, Samuel McTavish. Next up is the main event. It is going to be Isaac Luther versus the flag bearer Jackson Bates for the Skeg Vegas Wrestling Skegness Sanctum Lincolnshire Championship. Well, congratulations, Sam, but remember this sat there. There is nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Hashtag locked in Vegas, says Michael Mayer Matthews. That is a very good point. Saturday it will be a locked in Vegas match for the No Limits Championship between Samuel McTavish and Michael Mayer Matthews. Well, let's get into the main event. Congratulations, Sam, but this won't be the last time you see me, says the psychopath Matthew, showing good sportsmanship, showing respect. To Samuel McTavish. I want to see both of these men in the live chat. I want to see who you want to win in the live chat. And for one last time, please share this show about with your friends, with your family, to your social medias, to your followers. Let's try and hit 30 live viewers. For this main event, it is going to be Isaac Luther, who is one on one at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. He's coming off a win over Curtis Donovan. He's going to be competing 
against the inaugural Skate Vegas Wrestling Skate Miss Sanctum Lincolnshire champion, the flag bearer, Jackson Bates, for the Skeg Vegas Wrestling Skate Miss Sanctum Lincolnshire championship. And this match will be fought under Lincolnshire regulations. 15 minute time limit. And you can only win by submission. Let's get into this. Don't get hurt, Jackson. I want you 100% on Saturday because you need it to be in the ring with me, says VIP. The following is your Skeg Vegas Wrestling main event. And it's for the Skeg Vegas Wrestling Skegness Sanctum Lincolnshire Championship. Jackson Bates will be at War of the Roses 4 on Saturday. He's the team captain of Team No Limits for the War of the Roses 4 match against Team King of Vegas. Making his way to the ring first, the challenger, Isaac Luthor. Welcome to King. Isaac Luthor. Not been seen in a while at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. He is part of the Nomad division. He is one on one at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. He is coming off a window. He defeated Curtis Donovan. This match came about. Jackson Bates has had a lot of runnings and history with Oblivion. He seems to be. Taking out Oblivion, members left, right and centre, Isaac Luther is part of Oblivion. And he's looking to take him out in this match. And his opponent, the champion, he is the Skeg Vegas Wrestling Skegness Sanctum Lincolnshire champion, the flag bearer, Jackson Bass. He will be team captain for Team No Limits come War of the Roses 4 on Saturday, but first he has to defend his championship against Isaac Rufa. He's got a record of 10 wins, 1 draw and 7 losses at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. He is your inaugural Skeg Vegas Wrestling Skegness Sanctum Lincolnshire champion. Defeated Samuel McTavish at Skegness Sanctum to become the first champ. Recently defended that championship on Skeg Vegas Wrestling TV against Elvis Sabino. Can he defend it here against Isaac Rufa? Welcome to Nations B. He'll be looking for the throne to win this match. You can only win this match by submission, of course. It's fought under Lincolnshire regulations. There you see the challenger, Isaac Rufa. His first Skeg Vegas wrestling main event. Let's see how he copes with that pressure. And the champion, the flag bearer Jackson Bates, he's had plenty of main events here at Skeg Vegas wrestling. And he's got another one here tonight. This should be a good technical affair. A good old-fashioned wrestling match between these two men for the Skeg at Vegas Wrestling Skegness Sanctum Lincolnshire Championship. Title on the line. Big match feel. You see Isaac Luford, you see Jackson Bates. The ref calls for the bell to be wrong and off we go. Fast strikes to start off by Isaac Luther, but Jackson still tr standing, trying to cover himself. Forearm went for the chop, ducked by Isaac Luther. Isaac Luther went to grab him. 
Fight through the back elbows to Jackson Bates. 15 minutes on the clock. Punch. Punch again. Another punch. Strike fest to start off. Isaac Winfield with a running knee. And taunting Jackson Bates. And Jackson Bates returns the favour with a running knee of his own. Another knee by Isaac Luther. Stomp. Oh, what a hurry up by Bates. Running elbow by Luther. Kick to the gut by Bates. Went for some sort of attack and missed. Counters that. Oh, Dragon Suplex or German Suplex by Isaac Luther. Oh, and a variation of a go to sleep and telling Jackson to suck it. Jackson Bates keeps going for that manoeuvre, but Isaac Luther keeps covering. Sends him off into the rope. German Suplex again by Isaac Luther. Into the end spring Pele kick. This is not how Bates wanted this match to go. Butterfly suplex. But that. Roof edge pressed by Jackson Bates. Into the mounted strikes. Into some more mounted strikes. Forearm by Luther. Back elbow. Double knee face break of Isaac Luther. Did he stay down on purpose? I think he did. Pulls into his feet. Punch. Misses with a forearm. Punch by Isaac Luther. Back elbow by Jackson Bates. Back and forth match. Misses with a forearm again. Springboard Pele kick. Busts open Jackson Bates. Kick by Bates. Punch, forearm, punch, forearm, punch, punch, punch again, another punch, Isaac Luther still standing, and comes fighting with the Hurricane Rona, 12 minutes on the clock, elbow drop, another elbow drop, and a third elbow drop. Another elbow drop. Four now. Or five even. Six even. I don't know what's count. So many elbow drops being hit by Isaac Luther. Super kick by Jackson Bates. Uppercut. Forearm. From the kitchen sink at Isaac Luther, but he's still standing and he's still in this match. On trapped on the top rope. Punch. Second punch. Third punch. Chop. Slap. Got the arm. Takes him down. A leg drop to the arm. Maybe weakening it up for a submission. And into the Kamigoi. Jackson Bates rolls to the outside. Isaac Luther to the top rope. Looking to fly. Oh, what a frog splash by Isaac Luther. Stomp to the arm. Talking trash. His eyes at Luther to Jackson Bates, stomping on the hand. Stomp to the arm. And for the Kamigoi, but it was caught by Bates. And Bates back in the ring. Eyes at Luther walking round the ring. Jackson Bates, we're thinking about vintage Jackson Bates. The suicide dive sent into the corner. Jackson Bates comes running in with a knee. It's in the middle rope, goes Bates. Frog splash by Jackson Bates. And now to the top rope goes Bates. You don't see it often. Phoenix splash by Jackson Bates. And a 
Rainbow Moonsault! That's got to be it! Go for the submission in this match! Instead pulls into his feet! Punch! Punch by Isaac Luthor! Into! The Godbuster! Go to sleep! And into! The submission! He's locked in deep! Jackson Beats is going to have to tap! He's going to lose his championship here! Beats manages to fight free! Punch! Wraps him up, traps him up! Knee by Jackson Beats! Into! The submission, he's got a leg! He's wrenching back, he's pulling back! You can see the intensity! But Isaac Luther is hanging in there for now! And Isaac Luther fighting through with the punches! Sent into the corner. Isaac Luther comes running in with a European uppercut. Bits is still standing. Springboard drop kick. Stomp to the back of the head. Eight minutes on the clock. Cocky kick by Isaac. Kicked off by Jackson Bits. Jackson Bits into the road. Springboard. Cutter. Knee by Bits. Punches by Jackson Bates. More punches by Jackson. Just punching away at Isaac Luther is Jackson Bates. And Isaac Luther stunned against the rope. Close line to the outside. Bates turning to get to his feet. Oh, we're going to see some vintage. Jackson Bates. With the suicide dive! And tells him to get to his feet again. Oh, we're going to see a second. Suicide dive! Oh, we're going to see a trifecta. Are we going to see an attrick? Are we going to see a third? Might be too far away. Jackson runs into the rope. Suicide dive! Three in a row by Jackson Bates. And I think that's going to be it. Just needs to get him in the ring and tap him out. But Isaac Luther nipped up. Kick by Luther. Shot to the neck. Into the suplex. Six minutes left on the clock. Oh, I read it by Isaac Luther. Pulls into his feet. Four on by Bates. But caught him in the fireman's carry. And slams him into the mat. Needs to go for the submission now. Stomp to the face. Into the mirror lock. It is locked in deep. Jackson Bates is going to submit. He's going to lose his championship. Isaac Luther is wrenching back. How is Jackson Bates hanging in there? Punch. Jackson Bates in pain. Running knee. And Isaac Luther roll into the corner. Jackson Bates with the kick. And Jackson Bates to the corner. Throat slash into the running knee. And turning to get to his feet. Maybe looking for Nightmare Road. Stomp to the arm. Into the front. No rear breaks. Remember, he's locked in deep. Isaac Luther's going to tap out. He's going to submit. Jackson is going locked in deep. And Isaac Luther submits to the throne. And Jackson Bates is still your Skeg Vegas wrestling Skegness Sanctum Lincolnshire 
champion. What a match. Contender for match of the night for sure. And no winner of this match. And still, Skeg Vegas Wrestling, Skegness Sanctum, Lincolnshire Champion, the Flag Bearer, Jackson Bates. And Jackson Bates says, What a fight! Two months in the making. The next show is Saturday, live streaming at 6 p.m. UK time on the Skeg Vegas Wrestling YouTube channel. Skeg Vegas Wrestling War of the Roses 4 coming live from the Winter Gardens in Blackpool, England. Saturday, 6 p.m. UK time on the Skeg Vegas Wrestling YouTube channel. I'm hoping the match card will be out later tonight. But if not, it will be out tomorrow. But I'm hoping that it will be out tonight on Instagram at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Follow me. Spotlight will happen later tonight where you can vote for your favourite match from this show at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Follow me or like the Facebook page at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Follow me on Twitter or X at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. If you are watching this show, Please drop a like, please subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell, select all, it will let you know whenever I go live. If you're watching this show after it's done, when it's uploaded, please watch for at least two minutes. Drop a like, leave a comment. If you're watching this live, once it gets uploaded, please watch for at least two minutes. Drop a like, leave a comment. That's it. I will see you all Saturday. For Skeg Vegas Wrestling. War of the Roses 4. Saturday. Not Sunday, Saturday. I believe this might be our first free to watch monthly pay-per-view that we have done on a Saturday. Due to AEW having their show at the same time. Thank you Samuel McTavish. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone enjoyed the show.